So KZ Chiefs have been screwing up like a lot, a lot. And I mean, for the past eight years, screwing up year after year, season after season, coach after coach. And the reason for this is obviously the fact that there's been no proper forward thinking and planning. But we have seen that in the past few, in the past two years, actually, there has been some sort of kind of plan with Kezam Daung Jr. taking over as a sporting director and there's been some restructuring. But still, this year they came up and they screwed up again with appointing Mlifin Segi. But now, with appointing the next coach after Kevin Johnson, KZ Chiefs seem to have kind of learned their lesson and they are planning to do this properly. And we're going to talk about that today. We're also going to talk about the updates and development on the suspension of Itumel and Kune and what I actually think and what some people are actually saying about his suspension. Hello and welcome to Coast Nation Fan TV. I am Pilo, I am your host, and this, this is our fans meet and talk about KZ Chiefs. I'm a Kusi football club. Now, KZ Daung Senior has come out in an interview with SAPC Sports and he said that the new coach who is going to be appointed after Kevin Johnson, there's the senior coach, not as an interim coach, will be with the team going into the preseason, which means for the next, so we have December, January, February, March, April, May, and June. So let's just say May, up to May. For the next six months, case Chiefs are finalizing the details, the everything about the new coach that they want to appoint. And then by the end of the season, going to the preseason, they will then have the new coach. What do you think about that? And because before we even talk about who it is, because we've talked about that in many videos, the timing of it all doesn't make sense to you because to me, here's the thing. You already have Kevin Johnson and you have Kevin Johnson right now who's doing relatively well so far. And as much as I would not want him to become the permanent coach for reasons I've mentioned before, but for holding down the fort for what he's kind of doing right now, it's okay. Reason being, I do not want the next coach to be appointed for that decision to be rushed because we've seen that case achieves when they do rush these decisions what ends up happening is that it's the wrong one like they were with Zwane all along last season and then somewhere somehow they decided you know what let's remove him and get Nazreddin Nabi that didn't go well and then they were they ended up being forced into rushing the decision of appointing Mlifintzek. And look at how that ended up. It didn't end up very well. So now, the person who they are going to appoint next to be the head coach, they should really, really, really and thoroughly go through the process as to who that coach is. And I think for them to even do that, we have to address a few issues. Well, I think it's one issue, really. What is Casey Chiefs' way? Right? Because we talk about a lot of things and this word always comes up. The case achieves his way. But what is it? There needs to be a clear definition of what that is. Because if you are going to say, oh, we're going to appoint a coach uh, because of case achieves his way. And you also don't know what that is. That means even that coach that you're going to appoint, you will not be clear as to which boxes he should tick for you to get him to become the senior coach of the club. Because if you were saying Kaiser Chiefs' way is to play transitional football, for example, then you can't go and hire a coach like Pep Guardiola. I'm making an example. You can't go out and hire a coach like Guardiola if Kaiser Chiefs' way is playing transitional football. Go and hire a coach like Antonio Conte. Go and hire a coach like Jose Mourinho. You are not going to say... Kaiser Chiefs' way, and let's just bring it back to South African football. Gavin Hunt does not play the so-called Kaiser Chiefs' way. He wants his own players. I just I read something uh, on Twitter where it was talking about why Webster left uh, Sundowns. He's playing for Sekukune now. And one of the things is the fact that the guy wanted to play as a midfielder, but the coach wanted him to play as a winger so that he can cross the ball to his tall strikers. So now you see there was already a clash 
because the personnel or the type of player that he had is not the type of player that he should, I mean, that he needed because this is a player who wants to play in midfield and combine with the people who are playing with him in midfield. But him on the other side, he wants a player who's going to cross. So then again, if you are going to say he's a Chiefs' way, get a coach who plays that kind of football so that he doesn't come here and then changes the Kaiser Chiefs' way into his own thing. Because if he knows that the agenda is to, what do we do? Play Kaiser Chiefs' way, and that's beautiful football. We're peeling from the back. We're doing everything until we score the goal. Done. But if you are going to hire a coach who doesn't understand that, then we're in trouble. And number two, really, is the fact that are you willing to then go out and buy the players that the coach is going to ask for? Because, as I said, if we're planning to appoint this coach, say, in May, so that in June he starts as the head coach, then that coach should already be watching the team maybe by April, May, June, and saying, you know what, when I come to the club right now, this is what I can do. And looking at your league and the players who are available, this is the player I would like to have in my squad because of what you have told me and what I do and how I do things. So, for instance, if the coach comes in and is like, oh, yeah, we don't have a left back as the club that is wanting to hire me. We don't have a left back. Let's just go to Amazulu and get Hanamub. Hanamub is a Mozambique. Is, is a, he's not from Mozambique. He's from Namibia. He's a Namibian, which means we need to sacrifice one of the players. In this case, the clear choice is Gonzalez because he's at Kaiser Chiefs on a loan and not on a permanent deal. So let's not renew Gonzalez's contract because I want a left back. And the best left back that I can find is actually a foreigner in Hanamub. So get me Hanamub. And Chiefs should also be willing to say, okay, we're planning for five. The coach wants five players to strengthen his team. And then the coach can come and cook. Because the other thing that you don't want is the coach coming in and becoming frustrated by the management, not getting him the players that he wants. We've seen that happen a lot of times. So that cannot happen if indeed we are planning to say for the next six months, we're focusing on the coach. Let's not just focus on the coach. Let's focus on how he fits the team and how we can make life easier for him at the club. And also stop this fiddling thing and wanting to be involved in everything. Because if you're hiring a coach, it must be someone who knows what they're doing and they won't need your input from here from now and then. All you have to talk to them about is, okay, let's, um, well, let's, let, 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 let's talk about what do you need from us. Oh, yeah, I need more players. And then you give the coach more players. Simple. Now, if you've been watching until this far, you surely, surely, surely do have an opinion about what you think about case achieves waiting six months and not just hiring a coach right now. And also, if you've been watching for this long and you haven't liked the video, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? Please, please like the video. And, and subscribe to the channel. It, it does help me reach more people like you. Anyways, so because the other question that I have, just joining on this, since Kaiser Chiefs is not signing a coach now in December to have the January transfer transfer window and kind of what can I say time to prepare for the second half of the season. Do you actually back Kevin Johnson that he can win Chiefs something? Do let me know in the comment section because. Obviously, we trust him enough to say we know the Chiefs, the first target is obviously finishing in the top eight and the second target is being in Africa. So do you back, do you think Kevin Johnson with the current squad can actually take the team into the top three? One, that's the first thing. And number two, do you think he can win the Telcom knockout? Uh, the, not the Telcom knockout, the Nedbank Cup. And if it does, do you think that then changes the plan of Kaiser Chiefs? Yeah, do let me know in the comment section. Now let's talk about Kune because a lot of, some people obviously, a lot of us love Kune and a lot of us were disappointed by his action. But some of us are saying, oh no, why is Kune being punished so heavily? Why are they stripping him off of the captaincy? And, and, and I, 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 I'm perplexed, to be honest. I'm perplexed. Because uh, I want I want to hear this thing from you guys on the channel. Uguti, what do you think about this punishment? 
well, disciplinary because it's not really punishment. Because to me, ne, taking off his captaincy, it's, gar it's warranted like he deserves that. He deserves that because if you're going to start doing things like this as a leader, everyone looks up to you and you do that and you get away with it. What image is that painting? What impression is it giving to the likes of Abum Tutuzi Shabalan? Right now, he's not even getting game time. So what if he thinks, you know what, this is nonsense. I think Mbamba might be Linami because I'm frustrated. I figure Puzil. I need to the head that the club captain can drink. So why can't I drink and just get away with it? So to me, I don't see how some people are complaining about how this punishment is too much for him and all of that stuff. Because if we want to make an example out of a person, I don't even think this qualifies as making an example out of him. I think this is just a simple thing that you did this, so you are going to serve punishment. You are going to, I mean, you are going to be disciplined. That's what this is. And for some people to think, oh no, they don't like Kunevele. I really don't understand. But you, you are more than welcome. You are more than welcome to explain in the comment section why you think this punishment is 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 too brutal to to melancholy you 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 can you can tell us maybe there's something i'm missing but i don't really 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 understand because players like about tumsan zuma when he was at case the chiefs is it zuma yeah when he was at chiefs he had this problem right of drinking and what happened with him is actually went through rehab he club who tried disciplining him he did it over and over again and ended up being released. So with Kuna being a club captain, that's the thing that makes it problematic. That as much as you can put him through those programs, but also as a leader in a team, he has failed to lead the rest of the team. As such, he should be punished. And I know people will say, oh, Mpilo, but at the same time, you can't be saying that. He's the same person who Kuna was talking about how Brendan Peterson was talking to a psychologist to fix thinking as like why yenen ayang age on the to the psychologist to kind of so to help him through his problems okay because Lando Lena at the end of the day we have been talking about how Kaiser Chiefs is more of a brand than a football club now even if they were just a football club not caring so much about their brand name you also care about the example that you are setting for everyone else even if we are not even talking about the brand we're just talking about setting off an example but now if we're moving to the brand as, as well you 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 can clearly see that this does not make like this does not make uh good optics right because if you have a person from vodacom is like okay the captain of case achieves the biggest club in south african football the person who represents us who wears our kit and wears the captain's armband the leader of the team is a person who's not even professional to come to work in a puzzle. Mad Shield. All of these sponsors are looking at this and thinking, your leader is unprofessional. The leader of the club out there on the field is not professional. How can we even trust you with our finances? So it also comes to the image of the club that sometimes head, heads have to roll because you did something irresponsible. And you will get punished for that. So, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. People have different opinions, though. So do let me know what you think about all of these things. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, remember, equals. I'll pay you more.